Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a video based around prom because I figured quite a few of you might have your proms coming up. So I thought it would be fun to recreate how I did my makeup, hair and outfit for my prom, which, would you believe, was about seven years ago now. So I just feel like it'll be quite interesting to see how I got ready. So that's what I'm gonna do, <laughs> enjoy. Oh, also I'm gonna be putting some pictures from my actual prom like throughout the video so you can see what I actually look like on the day and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna recreate it as best I, I put, 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 what? I'm gonna recreate it as best as I possibly can for you. I think this is gonna be quite fun but I probably will look horrendous by the end of it. But what's new? <laughs> So the first thing I did the night before my prom was fake tanned and I did this myself, I didn't get it done professionally. I used, I think it was like the Garnier Ombre Solaire spray tan thing. So I sprayed it on and then it like developed overnight which was, you know, risky business because I could have woken up the complete wrong colour but I took the risk and I think it looked okay. I'd say I was maybe a little bit orange but not too bad. I mean, I think it's because everyone knew me for being so like pale that when they saw me they were like, whoa bloody hell. What's happened there? So obviously I'm not going to recreate the fake tan here today because I don't really want to be that colour right now but um, just know that that is what I did. That was my first step of getting ready. And then I also painted my nails the night before and I did them pretty much this colour. I think it was like a pastel pink nudie colour. So that is it for the day before and then obviously on the day of my prom the first thing I did to get ready was do my makeup. I did my makeup so different back then. The first thing I would have done was do my mascara because for me the most important thing was having big fat eyelashes and because it was prom I wanted them to be fatter than ever oh, 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 no. oh. won't be using that one then <laughs> I didn't want that one anyway I did actually I did want that one okay then we're back we're back so I'm basically just gonna keep going with these until I can make my eyelashes as big as I possibly can and I will get it in my hair that was inevitable wasn't it I will be back in a minute So I would have just kept going at it for a bloody long time and then eventually I would have cleaned up the mess because we don't want to leave it like that, do we? Then I probably would have just kept going. Not big enough. That's what she said. If I'm honest, I'm getting a little bit bored. <laughs> My wrist is starting to ache. That's what she said. That I'll have to do for now. I'll probably finish them off again at the end. But for now, I'm going to move on to foundation. I didn't wear that much stuff on my skin for prom. I was actually having such a good skin day. I was so worried that I was going to wake up with like bad skin. Because when I was a teenager, it was all a bit temperamental. But I woke up and I was like, yes thank you, you have been good to me today. Like, it's like my face knew it was prom and it was like, oh, go on, let's give her a good skin day. Like, it was so nice to me. I've picked out my, like, lightest coverage one, which is this collection colour match, flawless, natural finish. So we're going for a naturel finish. All natural, all natural, what was that word? All natural. <clears throat> so yeah, this is just a light coverage one, so I'm just going to put a bit of this on. The only error I did make at prom is that, obviously, I tanned myself. I was a wee bit orange from sort of here downwards, and I didn't buy, like, a darker foundation to match on the day, so I just had my usual pale foundation. The one thing that I notice in photos, it stands out so much, is that my face is so white compared to my body. Like, it's just a completely different colour. Okay, so as you can see, that's, like, a really sort of natural light coverage foundation, but that's all I would have used, and then I would have taken a bit of concealer and just popped that anywhere else that I would have needed it. I don't know if I would have put it under my eyes. Had I learned that trick at that point? I'm not sure that I had. I, <laughs> I can't remember. I'm just going to put a bit under my eyes anyway, just because I can't actually remember if I had. Now, I know for a fact I didn't powder back in the day, but I'm pretty sure for prom I borrowed my mum's powder. I think I remember her being like, oh, you should probably put a bit of powder on because you might get a bit sweaty as the day goes on. <laughs> and obviously with lots of photos being taken, using a powder makes sense. So it would have been at this point that I realised, oh, hang on, my face is white. My body is orange -y brown -y colour. An orangey brown colour so I would have been like oops probably should get the bronzer out so I'm just gonna take my bronzer and just dust it all over my face a little bit I I don't know it didn't really work I was still so pasty on the, on the face pasty face probably would have also put a bit of blush on but you know what I didn't do highlight <coughs> highlight <laughs> don't know what happened to my voice there. it keeps going really croaky I didn't highlight because back then I didn't even know that like highlight existed that was it for my face makeup it all looked a little bit flat because I don't know I didn't know about contouring and highlighting and 
<laughs> to be honest, I still don't, do I? But <laughs> I try now, at least I try. I think now I probably just went back over to my mascara. I would have needed to do my bottom lashes, obviously, and I probably would have put about 500 more coats on the top. Okay, I reckon that would do. And I never used eyeshadow back then. I didn't do liquid eyeliner. Thank God, I can't imagine how that would have gone back then. I can't even do it now, so that's a good thing. But the only thing I did do was use like a coal eyeliner pencil. So I'd just get like a little black eyeliner pencil and I'd just put it along my waterline. Not only would I do it along the top, but I'd also do it all along the bottom, which I now realise made my eyes look so much smaller. There we go. So that would have been how I did it. For lips, I probably would have just got whatever I used to put my foundation on. <laughs> so I used to just get the leftover foundation and just sort of like dab it on like that. So they're just sort of like a little bit pale. I wish I'd just put a lipstick on, like god damn it, that would have looked so much better, but I didn't realise. So that is how I would have done my makeup. Pretty simple really, like really basic stuff, but that's all I could do. I'm now gonna try and recreate how I did my hair. This is probably the bit where I'm gonna end up looking like an absolute twat, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So the first thing I would have done was make sure my fringe was in place because me and my fringe were like, it was true love. Like I loved my fringe so much. I feel like people knew me for my fringe just being ridiculous at school. It was really quite large, so I would have gotten my fringe into its position, but it used to literally stay like this all day like it wouldn't budge it would just stay it doesn't work no. oh goodness but yeah it used to just go straight mm. i think i'll just do that at the end because it is not going to stay but the next thing i'm going to do is curl my hair i've got my good old babyliss curling wand this is the exact one i used for prom and my mum did my hair for me so it does actually look good like my mum's good at doing hair stuff but i wouldn't like choose to have it like that now like back then i was like oh mum, i want like ringlets that's what i wanted i wanted like proper curls whereas now i'd probably just go for like a nice wavy look or maybe just leave it straight but yeah i wanted her to do proper like ringlets so that is what she did for me she delivered and i really liked my hair for prom i don't think i'm going to be able to recreate it very well because my hair is so much shorter now i'm pretty sure you guys have asked me so many times to curl my hair in a video so you are welcome it's finally happening it's not gonna be a pretty sight i did have a little practice the other day and i looked like an absolute wally and i burnt my neck so i'm so excited to do this again as you can imagine <laughs> it looks like a little mouth are you hot yet yes you're hot why did i touch it take a section i don't know what i'm doing i think you just sort of go down and then twist it Oh, <laughs> the concentration, I'm just like, I can't get it out. Fantastic. Well, that one didn't work, did it? What do I do with this little stumpy bit here? Might just like hide that and pretend it doesn't exist. And I also remember that I used to straighten like the underneath bits because I wanted to like keep the length in my hair because obviously look right now it's like gotten so much shorter. So I'm pretty sure I like straightened the ends of my curls, which I don't know, it made sense to me. Wow, this is a chunky one. Oh, I've turned it off. I've turned it off mid curl. Come back. We're back. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that one. It's literally like I've got tubes on my hair. Like, I don't know why I wanted that look. It's not very fun, is it? It's not very enjoyable, really. Ooh another tube it did look a lot different for my prom because my hair back then was like down to here oh, i haven't got a brow <laughs> never mind we're all friends here it's so much shorter so i can't really create them like proper ringletty curls that i had they're gonna be a lot stumpier i think this is as close as i'm gonna get it honestly looks horrendous it did not look this bad for my prom i'm just gonna flick my hair back just whilst i film the rest of the video because i cannot look at it like that it is awful Okay, so once I'd done my hair and my makeup, obviously the final thing to do was to put on my outfit. So I'm gonna start off with like the accessories that I wore. I kept it pretty simple for prom. I just put on like a little necklace. I don't know if this is the exact one, but I know I had like a little necklace like this with a little kind of jewel thing on the end of it. And then I also had some bright pink shoes. They were this sort of color and they were like stiletto sandaled type things. I don't have them anymore, which is so annoying. I wish I'd kept all of my prom stuff, but I don't have them anymore. And and then I also had a little clutch bag again in this bright pink colour. So now onto the actual dress. Unfortunately, I don't have my exact prom dress anymore. I had a dress, I'll show a picture right now. It was from the brand Sherry Hill, which do, oh, they do such nice dresses. Like they're so nice, but they are so expensive. And my mum said, 
Look, if you really want that one, I'll get it for you, but as soon as prom's over, I'm selling it because I wanna get some of my money back for it, which is fair enough. They were like, I think it was nearly 400 pounds. I just wanted it so bad. It was the only one that I really like had my heart set on. So I got the dress and I obviously don't have it anymore because we sold it to someone. However, I was looking on eBay and I found a seller who makes that exact style of dress but like for way cheaper so it's like a sort of knockoff version of it or what's the word a dupe they, they basically make cheap dupes of the sherry hill dress that i wore so i decided to order it because i really wanted to see how similar it actually would be and <laughs> obviously the quality isn't as good but it does actually from a distance look like my prom dress i feel like i've gone back in time this was 15 pounds by the way so you've got 400 pounds versus 15 pounds it looks a little bit like this i will insert some try on clips of me wearing this one the differences would be that the quality is obviously not as good but what do you expect 15 pounds the material is sort of like a netted sort of like scratchy material whereas the one in the original that i actually had for prom was like a really silky soft material it was such good material like you can see why they are 400 pounds they're like top notch dresses but this one is sort of like a scratchy wiry material they've put like sequins on this bit whereas mine had they were like little jewels like not like real not real diamonds but they were like little diamante things all across here whereas this one's just got sequins you know it does the same thing it's got that kind of like scattered effect going up this little bit here the fit is exactly the same you know it's in at the waist it's got straps if you want them and uh, wait are they straps oh no i think they're them hanger things okay so this one doesn't have straps but the one for my prom did have straps i think this one's a little bit longer than the one i had for prom mine was quite short this is a little bit longer but it has the same sort of like puffy out thing but from a distance honestly it doesn't look that different so if you like the look of my prom dress from the pictures if you want it for 15 pounds they do have it on ebay and they also have it in other colors they have like a lilac one a blue one i think so that is my makeup hair and outfit for my prom i hope you enjoyed reliving the memories of prom and getting ready with me anyway i'm gonna go and straighten these out because i'm not a fan um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have a really lovely prom if it's coming up give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if you want me to do any more prom related videos because i can if you'd like me to and I will see you guys very soon.